dress up like a pig on today. And here's my little pig toy right here. If you did, see, do we look alike? You probably don't. But here's a little pig toy right here. Pig. Now, pigs are very interesting. And in this, in the scripture, the prodigal son made his way to, he spent all his money and he made his way and he was feeding pigs. And it said that he longed to eat what the pigs were eating. How many of us can attest and will be honest that we were in a low place in our lives? And some of the things that we said we wouldn't do, we found ourselves doing it. Well, Luke gives this account in eighty. 60. And Luke is a biographical narrative letting us know that this is the true account of the ministry of Jesus Christ. Luke was written to the Gentiles. And during this time, Luke is trying to convince Theophilus, a Roman official, and of other Romans that this is a true account of the life and ministry of Jesus. And in Luke 15, we see the lost coin. We see the lost sheep, the lost coin. And then we see the lost son. I would like to talk to you about the prodigal pig. Why would I say it's a, a prodigal pig? Why would I put on a mask? There's a reason why I have this mask on. Some of us wear masks to church. Some of us wear masks to work. Some of us wear masks going out and some of us even wear masks till we believe who we're acting to be. You know, like in the movies. They put on this character and if they are not careful, just like the mask with Jim Carrey, they will become that character. And I'm saying they, but that goes along with us as well. It's so easy to look at the animal, the pig, and see the slop and say that we'll never go there. That was one of the messages that I did. Never say never. Because we never know the price or what will ever get us to act like a pig. I think about whenever someone is in a situation, they go to a new place, say if it's jail or, or something of that nature, and they're like, wait a minute, this is a foreign place, this is a foreign country. And the people that's been there for a while they may say, loosen up, eat this food, and that's what happened with Daniel. The king wanted them to get on the same diet as the king and his men. But that Daniel stood true to himself. He stayed true to God. And he refused. And the proof was in the pudding that the men that went on the fast that Daniel told him to go on, 
they were more healthy. <coughs> Excuse me. They were more healthier than the king and his men. To God be the glory. So, ladies and gentlemen, young men and young ladies, we must be careful. And one of the messages was never say never. Another situation, there was a famine in Kings. And let me fix my hat. There was a famine in King, Kings, and they were eating donkey's head and they were eating dove droppings. And they got to the point where they wanted to sell, they, they wanted to eat a child. One lady said, we'll eat your child today and we'll eat mine tomorrow. We should never say never. But I thank the Lord for in this scripture, it lets us know that God's relenting love for his people, the lost sheep. God cares about the lost one, that he will go after the lost one. Praise the Lord. And sometimes, if we're not careful, we will start eating slop. If we're not careful, we will start acting like a pig. And the main point that I want to make for this message is don't allow the devil to pull you into his schemes, to pull you into his tricks. Don't allow the devil to pull you into being in his pig pen. Don't allow the devil to pull you to being, being in his doghouse. No matter what the devil says through people, they may say, oh, that person is trying to be, they think they're better than us. Don't allow the devil to trick you or make you feel guilty because greater is he that's in you than, than he that is in the world. I thank the Lord for giving me this message, for giving me the mask and for giving me this idea. Thank the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. So whenever someone is trying to get you to act on their level and try to get you to act like a pig, go the other way. It's not worth it. You have a lot to lose. I was in 1 Peter, the second chapter, 1 through 10, on the last message that I posted. It says that we are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation of people for his purpose. And I'm paraphrasing it. God sent Jesus to die for us. So we are important. We are the head and not the tail. We are the lender and not the borrower. We are above and not beneath. We are a people for his purpose. And so if there's someone out there that is thinking about stooping to the level that is of this world, I urge you, I plead with you to reconsider it and to give your mask or trying to get someone else 
off the course that God has called them to be on. It's time for us to give up the mask and relinquish our mask to Jesus. How do we do that? Give it over to the Lord. Give our problems, our heartache, our concerns. Close out with this message about the hard-headed prodigal pig. We don't want to be a pig. And if we're in that situation, that state, it's time to come to our loving Father. We must remember to never say never because we never know what could be the driving motivator or factor for us to be in that situation. The younger son was motivated that he could handle the money, but he squandered the money, as we can see in the text, and he found himself doing something that a Jewish person would believe that is beneath them. Now Luke is writing to the Gentiles. That means non-Jewish people. Who are we to say that we will never put on a mask or be a pig or whatever? We may look at someone else's situation as they may be in a sloppy situation eating slop. But who is to say that we won't never be in that situation? So we must consider, just like how it says in Galatians, when trying to restore someone else, we may fall into that, own, that same pit. We must, and I'm paraphrasing this, we must be cognizant, we must be true to ourselves that all of us have hangups. All of us has, have been in a situation from time to time where we needed someone else. All of us have been in a situation that we were in dire need. It's out of the situation. If it had not happened right now, if it didn't happen right now, just wait a little while. In Job it says, man that is born of a woman, it is for a few days and is full of trouble. If trouble has not arrived at your doorstep right now, just wait a little while. Wait a little while. But I'm so happy and glad about the song by Reverend Timothy Wright. It says, I'm so glad trouble doesn't last always. My brothers and sisters, if we're ever in a situation and we're in the pig pen, and there was a character on uh, the peanut, Charlie Brown pig pen, we're ever in a situation, it's time for us to come back to the Lord because we may not come back to our senses. And we, may, we shouldn't gamble on that, that we're going to come to our senses, because we never know. Some people have been out in the far country and have never made it back. But Lord, we pray right now for those individuals listening to this message. Lord, we just give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to be about your business right now, Lord. Please touch that one, Lord, that they may consider to try Jesus. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. To try Jesus for themselves. And Lord, we just give you the praise, the honor, and glory for that one who has decided to repent and believe that you can restore them. You can bring them back to you. And the, the father came back to the son before he even reached home. The son had a repentant heart. 
We must have a repentant heart. We must be honest with ourselves and honest with the Lord because the Lord knows our heart, even when it's so far off. He knows our heart. He knows the ins and the outs because he made us. He fashioned us. He put us together. He knows exactly where we are. Jesus and God, they don't need a GPS to find us. Praise the Lord. They don't need a satellite. We thank the Lord for sitting up high and looking down low and seeing the very intentions of man's heart. And so, Lord, we thank you for that one for wanting to come clean, for that one who is repenting and believing that you can make the difference in their lives, the one who believes in you that you came, lived, and died, and God raised you from the dead. And, Lord, we thank you for that one repenting on today or asking for you to restore them or to uh, they want to reconnect with you lord in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen now to the benediction now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. And everyone said, Amen, Amen, and Amen.